Hi, my name's John Page. I'm just going to go over some of the uh, highlights of the sort of sector overview portion of the Women in Governance uh, seminar. I'm just going to give you five key areas that uh, I think are really worth focusing on. So the first thing is, is the size and nature of the sector. So what we have to remember here is that the big sector, uh, five plus billion dollars turnover, 2.8% of GDP, and, and the formal structure, <coughs> the bit you're likely to serve on boards, and it is only a kind of small corner of that, and the balance between those two is, is a fundamental challenge. Uh, the moving parts, uh, you know, territorial authorities are the biggest funder by a long stretch, 800 million. Uh, the rest of government, outside Sport New Zealand, 370, private sponsorship, 350, and, and the non-high performance uh, stuff from uh, Sport New Zealand, only 50. So lots of other players in, in the pool, and that's really kind of worth remembering. Also, lots of other delivery agents outside the formal structure, um, private uh, entrepreneurs, events, virtual groups. So it's big and it's complicated, and you've got to fundamentally work out what your role is within it. So the second section is the significant challenges that face the sector. First thing to understand uh, from our research indicates that 80% of all adults participate outside the formal structure, and some are somewhere around two thirds of kids. So obviously, that's a fundamental challenge. Um, people are choosing to participate in virtual uh, groups, events, gyms, whatever, all by themselves. So uh, it's tough and there is certainly a challenge on the formal structure. Uh, what we see also is some of the traditional areas of revenue going down, particularly pokies and club membership. Um, there's a stress on the volunteers, uh, many of them are kind of ageing and uh, trying to keep the thing floating, which is hard. Uh, finding um, <clears throat> a role in amongst that and, and a clear purpose through it is one of the key things in the sector at the moment. In the area of governance, challenges are things that perplex boards. Uh, often in the membership organisations, the expectations of the members and the ability to deliver uh, are sometimes out of kilter, particularly around high performance and sub-elite uh, performance, which are expensive areas. Uh, sport New Zealand only funds a small number of uh, sports, uh, what I would call adequately or anywhere near it. So balancing the expectation of, of the media and that of your members is a, an ongoing challenge. Um, secondly, just getting good people around the table, uh, that's always tough. Uh, without good people around the table, you, you're really going to struggle. Thirdly, and this is kind of a key take out of the session uh, that we had, is the organisation has to be clear about what its purpose is. So a sport uh, will exist uh, whether the national body is there or not. So it follows that you've got a purpose within that uh, sport. Absolutely got to be clear about this and that gives you the ability to say no to things, which is vital. We see organisations dragged left and right by opportunities, but be very clear, be very straight about what you want to do. So this section I call getting it right, and it's to a certain extent what we look at uh, from the outside when we look at a, uh, a board of an organisation. So firstly, so how focused is it? So coming back to the earlier comment, how clear about purpose and focus, so, and how good is the plan that relates to that? How do you know you're on track uh, or off track? Uh, the whole area of financials, so you know, crisp budgeting, crisp cash flow, knowing where you are and knowing where you're going to be uh, sometime down the track. Uh, policies and delegations, <clears throat> is everybody's role clear? Does the chief executive and the staff know where their delegations begin and where they end? And again, the quality of the people around the table. All of those things, if they're there, I uh, mean you're well down the track to being a good board. Okay, so the last section is uh, what I call things that go bump in the night. These are things that we observe that derail boards and uh, end up at the bottom of the cliff work, which nobody likes. So major events are great, good for the sport but equally they can be extremely damaging, so you've got to make sure you get it right, that the money is right, and it's not taking your eye off the rest of the game. Um, cash flow, uh, un unbudgeted income that is unsecured ultimately, uh, unless you're keeping a real tab on that, you can come to October in a year and suddenly it's not there and you've got no plan B. Uh, unrealistic expectations uh, or promises to your membership and not delivered, really leads to bad stakeholder relationships and actually an erosion of confidence and over time that can cause great grief. Uh, bad people around the table, wrong people around the table and poor recruitment, so not getting the CE recruitment right, I mean, that's one of the key things that has to be done.